Could this place have the best margaritas in Sacramento? Maybe, we're not sure, but you should definitely try one out now. A jalapeno one. Dude, this place was going off on Cinco de Mayo as well too. To come maybe before a concert, if you're hanging out, really, really nice vibe, amazing people. What's up guys, we're in Doco downtown common sacramento california i'm with my buddy jacqueline gage how you doing jacqueline i am doing well today it's our first warm day we're super excited sun's out big concert tonight bocelli andrew bocelli and we got the golden one center right behind us guys this is gonna be a great video let's get started right now Welcome to Living in Sacramento. I am Jacqueline Gage, and today we are in downtown Commons. This is what we call the Joko Center. I am with my fellow YouTuber, Mark McDonough. Hey, Mark, how's it going today? Good, good. We are in the hub. The hub the of center. downtown. Not too shabby. All right, you're gonna showcase a little bit of it? We're gonna showcase downtown Commons. We have the Kimpton. This is where the Kings play. Golden One Center's right behind me. We're gonna check it out, show you all the hot spots. Let's get to it. All right, so Jacqueline, here's Doko. One of the anchors is the Kimpton Sawyer. What can you tell us about that hotel? Because I love it. Well, the Kimpton Sawyer has an amazing rooftop bar, a really big deal when it came to Sacramento because we didn't have a rooftop bar and we have perfect weather for that. Great cocktails, great ambiance. It's definitely a spot I take people if they come to town and you want to show them about Sacramento. So check it out. Also, if you want to get the best Bloody Mary in Sacramento revival Sunday, haven't been there or have I? Great place. Okay, so one of the things that's awesome is the Golden One Center. Our Kings. I know, what a year the Kings have had. I know, I know. Although we didn't beat the Warriors, we still love our Bay Area buyers. And the what do you think? The Golden One Center is kind of the like anchor, other than maybe the Kimpton Sawyer, but the Golden One Center is definitely the anchor for events. If you're gonna go see some, like, yeah. uh, who's over here tonight? Andrea Buccelli, if you're into opera, actually, if you, even if you aren't into opera, he's very good. You're kind of dressed for the opera tonight. I, we had no idea the opera was going to be downtown tonight. Guys, it's packed here. I mean, I'm telling you, like, these events load up. The Sawyer, like, all the restaurants here are just packed. Everyone's running around. The atmosphere in Sacramento is completely, like, fun energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely has revitalized our downtown Golden One Center. Um, and it's one of the nicest stadiums in the country right now. I mean, we have the best of the best here. So top of the line, definitely a place to check out. And you could probably catch Jacqueline or her husband here like having a nice glass of champagne or relaxing. This is a great spot. What's your favorite place to eat though? I like to go to Echo and Rig, which is part of the Kimpton. Downstairs, great steakhouse. I love steak, filet mignon all day long. There we go, mine too. I love that place, but don't bring a camera there. They're a little restrictive, but for margarita, Polanco Cantina, oh, yeah. ooh, More yeah. Casual, a little Cinco de Mayo vibe right over there. Check that out, good stuff. So I don't know guys, we're gonna walk around a little and show you a little bit about this uh, nice hub. And if you are thinking about coming to Sacramento, you know, like Jacqueline, I would say put their GPS on Golden One to kind of understand the lifestyle that Sacramento has kind of been undergoing over the last five years, you know? Don't you think? For sure, we have, yeah, to get a sense of the downtown, a feel of the city. So you always wanna check out the downtown first. Too shabby, huh? Let's Not go for a walk. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so as we know, it's super sunny in Sacramento. As far as these like shaded areas, these nice restaurants, what do you like? Um, well, I love a good outdoor space. Like outdoor malls are very popular here because we have the perfect summer weather. Yeah, we do. I love to go to the Kimpton rooftop, the Polanco, like you said, if you're into uh, maybe a little margarita, spicy margarita is great. But if you're going to see Andrea Bocelli. Oh, well, what do you do? Course. You need some bubbles. So we have a champagne bar here, nothing but champagne. It's an awesome spot and definitely a niche. So let's go check it out. What do you say, Mark? I love it, let's do it. Okay. Okay, so Polanco is the spot people love to come to pregame before the Kings game. And in fact, it gets so busy that they have this little 
uh, what is it, like a taco truck, and they serve drinks and tacos through here and you can cut the line. It's amazing. Could this place have the best margaritas in Sacramento? Maybe, we're not sure, but you should definitely try one out now. A jalapeno one. Dude, this place was going off on Cinco de Mayo as well too, and it's definitely a good spot to come maybe before a concert. If you're hanging out, really, really nice vibe. Amazing people. All right, guys, we're on the second level in Doco, and they have a little bit of everything here. Lots of spots to eat, but we have our movie theater and Macy's, the two M's, definitely a must. Uh, so a little bit of everything, right, Mark? You can kind of do it all here. You can go to a nice restaurant, you can do your shopping, you can go see King's Game, Andrea Bocelli. I mean, like, there's so many things you can do in Sacramento that it's just, I mean, this one spot specifically, I mean, like, this is a night. You can make a night out of it, right? For sure. All right, guys, so we're walking down some of our favorite shops and some of the places you need to try. So Jacqueline, what do we got here? We have bubbles and sweets. I love those two things. And this is the best pastry shop, one of the best. They have like a cronut, which if you don't know, is a donut and a croissant all in one hybrid. Yes, and then, you know, bubbles, champagne. It's pretty awesome, guys. Like I said, they've selected, they've hand selected some of these stores that match well together. You're gonna find stuff in Doco, in this downtown area. You're not gonna find anywhere else in Sacramento, and it's definitely worth your time to come down here, spend the evening, spend a Friday with Jacqueline and myself. It'll be fun. All right, so this is one of the exits of Doco. I mean, it has kind of cool stuff though, too. Places to eat, 24 hour fitness. I mean, you could even work out. Get a meal, drink a beer and go and, work out. And then go eat sauce, which is a barbecue joint, which is pretty good. And we've been actually off camera talking with our camera guy and social media guru, Wes, about sauce. Because Jacqueline says she has the best taste buds in all of Sacramento. And Wes is kind of challenging her on this. So what do you think? Sauced? What are we thinking? I mean, I can't stand behind sauce because I've never tried it, but I love barbecue. And I can tell you, this is this video side, Tank House in Midtown is amazing. I mean, I kind of thought for your next channel, I was thinking a little barbecue and heels. What do you think, good? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is Doco, and this is like one of those things where like, you know, it's, it's, it's a great spot. And then you also segue well, you got Tipsy Putt. I've been there actually, which is really, really cool. But then also you segue over there and you got more restaurants are across the street. So one cool thing to note is that Doco connects to our old Sacramento and it's right behind us. And old Sacramento is a historic area. It's really like a national park here. And uh, you know, it's back in the day, kind of all about the gold rush and little, little stores, little candy shops. It's definitely a tourista thing to do, but it's fun. You gotta check it out, put it on your bucket list if you're coming to Sacramento. Well, not to mention if you go to old Sacramento and then you come underneath the bridge thing and then you come to like new Sacramento, it's kind of a, like a little bit of a like- Nice contrast. That's the future and it's pretty cool. Also pro tip guys, if you guys are coming to Doco, downtown commons, it's kind of a pain in the butt to park here. So I'm gonna recommend the Macy's parking lot. Really, really smooth sailing, always available. And trust me guys, you don't want to try to like look for parking around here. It can be a little bit of a bear. And, and if you buy one thing, you get three hours free parking. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we're kind of the other side of, I guess you could call it Doco, but we're not really, we're segueing into another area of Doco, correct? Yes, we're giving you some bonus some bonus stuff today. We're going across to, into K Street, which has more bars and restaurants and hangout spots. And they have a really cool rooftop bar, Darling Avery, that's it. And they have DJs and stuff. And I hear that it's great. My friends go. Well, the other thing too is if you're drinking a couple of cocktails, they also have transit that you can get home. You can hop on the light rail and there you go. Good to go. She doesn't like the light rail. I don't know, Mark. I don't know. Well, we're going to find Let's out. Try an Uber. <laughs> Ubers are accessible as well too, guys, but this is kind of the downtown area. If you look down there, it goes on. And there's some nice restaurants, places to hang out, but this is kind of a new part of Sacramento yeah. people aren't used to seeing, right? Right, and also Sacramento has had a lot of hotels pop up in the recent year or two. We also have the Hyatt Centric downtown. They have another awesome rooftop bar. That's definitely something to check out too. Who likes rooftop bar? I love a rooftop bar, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with a rooftop bar? We have perfect weather for it. There we go. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Doco Downtown Commons in Sacramento. If you guys are thinking about visiting Sacramento, guys, this is a good starting point. 
And this is the new facelift of Sacramento. Don't you think, Jacqueline? I think it's definitely had a good facelift. Absolutely, guys. Like, subscribe. See you next time.